recently got this drill press from my dad and it was sitting out in the rain when I picked it up. So needless to say, it had quite a bit of rust on it when I got it home. And I think it might've had rust on it before because it was stored out in a shed. I'm gonna go through the ways that I take rust off of tools like this, give them a light rehab. I'm no expert, but these have worked for me pretty well more than once. So sometimes I'll use some fine grit sandpaper on parts. Uh, you don't want to go too deep because you can scar the metal. I also have a steel brush that I put in my drill and use it to get into some places you can't get with the sandpaper or some of the heavier rust. Sometimes I will spray some WD-40 on with the wire brush and that helps kind of break it up and wash it away as you go. With cast iron parts, uh, there's multiple ways that you can go. You can use sandpaper directly on it, but it, eventually it will get down into the cast iron and change the surface of it. Uh, I'll spray it down with WD-40 and use a scotch bright green pad with my palm sander and kind of hit it lightly. And it doesn't have to be much if it's just surface rust. There are still some stains, some dark splotches on there, but to get those out, you have to get deeper into the cast iron, and that's textured, so I didn't really want to get down into it and change the texture of that surface. I used this same method a couple of years ago on a table saw top. It was pretty rusted, it had gotten some rain, and uh, it worked pretty well for as bad as that top was. The arms turned out to be chrome plated and they gave me a little trouble. More on that in a minute. But I used a Scotch Bright pad and it had some WD 40 still on it and quite a bit of elbow grease to get the rust off of the side parts. And I tried to use the wire wheel on the grinder to take the rust off of the arms, which it did, but it also took the chrome off. So I ended up painting those. But overall, I spent maybe an hour, maybe two taking the rust off of this thing and it's not perfect it doesn't look brand new but I didn't plan on it looking brand new I just wanted to get the rust off here's a tip for all those who lose their chuck key all the time this is a neodymium magnet that I pulled out of a hard drive I'll link to a video where I show you how to do that I just stick it to the side of the drill press take my chuck key boom and as long as you put it back there every time you will never again lose your chuck key Hey, thanks for watching.